Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're doing well. Now let's let's get started with the procedure of installing React Bootstrap. On the React Bootstrap website, click on the link that says getting started. Now before we go through the installation procedure, let's go to the desktop and create a folder named test. Now we'll open this folder test in our code editor which is in my case VS code. You can use any code editor that you like. Now I've opened test in my code editor. Let's open terminal. And now to create a basic bare bones react app, I'll use this command, which is npx create hyphen react hyphen app space the name of my application which is my app create react app is a third party module that I've, that I'll be using to create the skeleton of my react app to know more about this create react app please check one of the links that I've provided in description press enter to execute this command now this might take a few moments of a few minutes maybe to install uh, by the time it is installing let's go to the website and look at the installation procedure the first step that we have to do is execute this command which says npm install react bootstrap and bootstrap so we'll execute this first once this is done one thing that that you'll notice is create react tab will add an index.js file in the source folder in our react tab so in that index.js file we will add this import another option is if you don't want to install the react bootstrap package then you can use this link and you can add this link to your index.html file which will be inside the public folder as you'll see once we have done the above procedure here comes the time to use the react bootstrap components the importing procedure for react bootstrap components will be like this or like this <coughs> here we can see that a button is being imported from react bootstrap so we write import button with capital b from react hyphen bootstrap slash button go back to vs code and see if create react app installation is complete yes create react react app installation is complete now let's go into that folder cd my app and here in the substructure we can see that we have a source folder and a public folder source folder contains all the files that create react have created for us and public folder has the file index.html which i was talking about before but anyways that is not of much use to us for now the main file that we'll be working on will be index.js Now let's install our React Bootstrap module. Let's copy this command and paste it over here. While, the, well, while that is being executed, let's go here and copy this import. And let's add it to source folder slash index.js, which will be this file. Source index.js let's paste that import over here and save the file and that's it once this is com once the installation is complete we've already written this import file then you'll have the react bootstrap module installed all right so now the react bootstrap has been installed to verify this you can go to your package.json file and under dependencies 
you can see React Bootstrap has been added. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Maybe it's 3 a.m. Had you on my mind. It's the first time we've gone through this. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.